ever since liverpool became a great port these have been its characteristic noises but today it's famous for another sound this groups of youngsters like these have teamed together with one ambition to top the hit parade The Cavern at Liverpool. This has been the springboard to fame for many groups. It's a place where the kids can go for kicks, where they can express themselves in the new way of life they've found. In Liverpool, there are now more than 300 groups. Not many of them will realize all their ambitions. But here's one group that has broken through the show business barrier, soaring into the hit parade, the swinging blue jeans. It's not only Liverpool. In London and all over the country, there are clubs and ballrooms where the youngsters can do what they like, dress as they like, dance as they like. Some estimates put the total number of beat groups at more than 25,000, all producing the sort of sound that has revolutionized the music industry. It's strange that in this modern form of dancing, it's usually the girls that like to dance, the boys to watch. Here's a typical beat musician, Ray Ennis, leader and founder of the successful Swinging Blue Jeans. Once the hit parade has been achieved, the world is one of birds. There's no escaping. Ray learned to play the guitar when he was very young. Then in 1959, he got together with some friends to form a beat group. Doing their regular jobs during the day, they played every night. Travelling from town to town, they built up a big reputation in the north of England. By 1961, they'd become such a success, they decided to turn professional. This meant new instruments. The new sound has brought a boom period for the instrument makers and for the salesmen. From many, many instruments, the Blue Jeans chose those which would suit their own particular style. For this type of music, each instrument is connected to its own amplifier, which itself can be adjusted for tone and volume. This makes the equipment very expensive. Though they're at the top, these boys are symbolic of all groups. Young people who love to make music, to entertain, to have freedom to express themselves in more ways than one. To achieve international success, commercial records must be made. 
In the studio, Mr. Wally Ridley, the recording manager, controls the balance of the music so that the players will get the sound they really want. For goodness sake! You're only as good as your last record. So they'll go on recording again and again until everybody agrees it's fabulous. Just fab. Meanwhile, other groups all over the country are striving to do the same thing. Television programs such as Ready, Steady, Go help to bring them to the notice of the pop public. Keith Fordyce introduces a London group, the Zephyrs. are made by the kids for the kids of the jet age. Out of this sort of sound has come fame and fortune for a few and entertainment for millions. I'm gonna tell I'm married about Uncle John. It's got the major, but I have Whether it's in London or back again here in Liverpool, the beat's much the same. A beat that in one form or another has come down the centuries to become magnified into a phenomenon of today. the lifespan of a group. How long can new sounds be found? This we don't know yet. But there's one sound that will go on for many, many years. The sound of a great river, lifeblood of a great city. Bye. 